It's October 5th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. I can't speak for everybody involved with the Occupy Wall Street movement. I can only speak for myself. There's been some disinformation about what the primary goal of the movement is. And as I said in the beginning of this, the goal was one citizen, one vote, one dollar. Get the corporations out of the U.S. government. There has been a lot of disingenuous comments being made about the occupiers using iPhones and iMacs and Dells and tweeting and Google and Blogger and various other products of the corporations to get their message out. As I said, those criticisms are disingenuous for the simple reason. We are not, again, I can only speak for myself primarily, but the goal is not to condemn the corporations for being good corporations and putting out usable products. But I can guarantee you, having worked specifically for Apple, I would not in any way, shape, or form want them running the country. Even though I do like their product. I wish I could afford an iPhone. I like their iMacs. I like their Mini Mac. But that doesn't mean that I want them running the country. I use XP on my computer. But in no way, shape, or form do I want Bill Gates running the United States of America. I use gasoline in my car. Doesn't mean I want either GM or Chrysler or Dodge, as the case may be, or Exxon or BP to run the government of the United States. This is not anti-capitalism. And I say that as a socialist. This is and always will be a very simple message. Get the corporations out of the U.S. government. Now, on a side note, uh, my friend in London, the race mixer, has been privately looking at me about not having made it with Wealth, Women, and War. Uh, that book died basically with the recession when it began at the end of 2008 everything that it predicted came to pass and is still happening if anything it formulated my own opinions about the era we are in and is a legacy for my six children but when I'm gone and in the arms of the eternal that they will have something to remember me by. Because I do love them, and it is for them that I struggle. They are more than my book. My children are my legacy, and I love them dearly. And that's, for me, what the struggle is all about. Well, that's it for now. I do thank you. And as always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now. And I would be remiss this evening if I did not pause to add, rest in peace, Steve Jobs. He brought about the technical revolution. Go with God. Bye-bye.